Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gabak USA. So, if you have a Samsung or maybe another phone, I'm going to teach you how to test the digitizer. So that way you're going to make sure few things. The first thing is you're going to make sure that all the surface uh, works fine, the, the touch that is working fine. The second thing is you're going to see or you're going to learn how to detect if one of the colors are not working well. So here I have a use phone, if you use phone, so we are going to show you how to do that. So I hope you enjoy it and let's practice. Here we are going to see how to check the cell phone. So now we're going to dial the code. The code is star numeral zero star numeral. So if you want to see if the screen has some damage, maybe some color may not work or something like that, we are going to start with the top here where it says red. And then if we see the screen is red, it means that it works. So we are going to tap so the red will disappear. And then we are going to press green. And if we see everything is green, the screen should be fine. You have to make sure that all the screen has the same color because sometimes if the screen doesn't look nice, I mean, or has some flaw, you may see that it may have some uh, different color, it might be dim in one area than the other. Another thing that you have to th see if there is some dead pixel, so if there is a, some dead pixel changing the colors, you will see, you, you, you will be able to see that. So now we're going to tap, we're going to see, the, we're going to do the same thing with the blue. So we see the blue looks fine. And then we're going to do the same with timing. So now we tap and we will see that it's diamond, it's, it's less shiny. We tap again and now it's shinier. And now we have to tap uh, this button here, the, the back, backspace button twice. And then we are going to exit that menu. And if you want to see the touch, if the touch is working properly, we press the button that says touch. And then here we have to do that, this. We can do whatever here but if you want to uh, finish the test, what you have to do is go all around. It doesn't matter if you skip some uh, squares as you, I'm doing here, you can go back and forth until you finish, you see here, and you do the same, the same thing here. So once you do this, it means that you, you pass the test, so it means the screen is working fine. I'll, I'll do it again so you can see. Because I, I had in the, in the past another phone when I was re repairing that maybe you are typing, but maybe when you type a other typing or typing or whatever, one letter or something like that, and then it seems like some letters are difficult to, to touch or to tap and you will see that that problem, when that happened, usually it's a problem with the screen. Or it might be that someone repaired the phone and they didn't use the UV glue as you have seen in, an, in another of my videos. So here you have to make sure that all the square are marked as you, as you can see here. And, and if there is some error like here, it doesn't matter if you go like, uh, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, you're not going to able to mark some of the, the squares, the same thing in this in this side or any part of, of the screen. Or if you don't have this kind of uh, a phone, maybe you have another brand or, or whatever, maybe you can try to install some kind of paint uh, software, you know, like the same paint that you have on Windows, maybe you, you can do the same, same the same thing on your phone. But like if you have an iPhone, maybe you can tr try to do that. Another thing that you can try to do is, is this. You can grab an icon and then try to move it around. I'll do the same here. This is, I mean, it's very easy. I'm going to drop it. I mean, I'm going to pass in the other screen. And if I go like, all the screen like that, as you can see. And if the screen has some issue, uh, like is the the icon 
will not follow my finger and it will drop in, in that corner. So that is another way if you don't want to install any software or something like that. So that is an, another trick that you can do with the iPhones. But with the Samsung, all the Samsung has this, this option. If you type what I just said, I'll leave it in the description of this video. So it has a lot, a lot of um, other testing if you want to proceed. But in this case, this video is just about how to uh, proceed, how to test the digitizer. So if that is your case, that is what you, you have to do. Remember, if you want to leave this menu, uh, you have to tap uh, tap uh, here in the backspace twice and then that way you are going to go in the main menu. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please click on and like and if you didn't like it in dislike, subscribe to my channel and remember in the description of this video there are more things. If you want to donate uh, to this channel, that is awesome. And remember, I have many classes about different things, how to repair cell phones, maybe TVs, computers, and other things. So remember to check my other videos in the playlist and see you next time. Bye.